Hi, this is Rhonda with Rhonda's Crafty Chaos. And today I'm going to show you how to make this cutest little um, Frankenstein. We're going to start with just a board. Just do one of these two inch, um, I think it's a two by eight inch board. And we will get him all done. Dress him up. This is um, just regular kid clothes, um, 2T. But he is so stinking cute. I just love him. Look at his hair. Kind of crazy little hairdo. I've got the fan going, but isn't he the cutest? I love him. I love little Frankie. Okay, let's get started. I'll set him over here. And he can watch us create his brother. Ooh, maybe. We're going to have to lean him back. Okay, so I just got this board, and this is a stencil I had, but I hated the nose on it. The nose was just ugly. So I covered it up, and um, this is just a stencil I got off of Amazon. And that's of Frankie, but his nose was just too ugly. I didn't like it. So I just spray painted this on. I put the stencil down. And just held it and sprayed it and then I took some air dry clay this is just one I got off of Amazon um, and created a little nose this is how his nose is gonna go so it's just kind of uh, oval shape and then I just kind of pinched it right there so we're gonna put that on and then I made eye lids for him to make him look like he I don't know it just made him look cute. He had to have a little eyelids. So we're gonna glue them on, and these are just like a little snake. I just kind of curved them. Nothing really difficult. I gotta get my glue gun heated up. While we're letting that heat up, let's um, color the eyes in, make his little eyes look like Frankie's little eyes, kind of where to put him to. You guys can see him, maybe right there. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do his little eyes. And this um, green I used on here, I painted it white, and then I used this Waverly um, Scallion from Waverly, and that's a perfect green. I love that green for him, so. Let's do him, his little, the white in his eyes, and then we'll do the black. Make sure I know what I'm doing. We'll just do a little U shape. And I need to grab a smaller brush. I started these a couple of years ago and then um, never did finish them. I think. I got busy with my husband doing his hospital stuff and never did finish them. So I thought, oh, this year's perfect year to get them finished. And I've been dying to finish him because I love Frankenstein. I think he's the cutest. So I'm just making a U shape and filling it in. And we're going to have to at least do two coats, if not three. Do that, just a simple U shape. Once again, I want to tell you guys all to comment, share, and like my page. Do the thumbs up. And. Um, this is my birthday month, so I started my YouTube channel uh, um, a year ago. So I really want to celebrate with you guys and um, give some stuff away. So if you guys would like, comment, and share, I will pick another couple of names and we will give another couple of boxes away. And if Peggy John Johnson is watching from Tooele, you want a box. 
so I need you to get your address. So, um, you can go on the FB site under Rhonda's Crafty Chaos. I'm under there or um, shoot me a message and I will send you my email address and you can email me your address. But yeah, Peggy, you want a box. You and um, I've never met her, but she's a good friend of mine, um, Judy Smith. So I am so excited to be able to share my crafts with you guys because I've got a lot of stuff built up and I want to give it away to you guys. Okay. That one needs to dry. I keep just pushing the paint around. I put a little bit of paint on and then I wipe it right off. And that's why it's good to dry in between every coat really good and I forget that acrylic paint doesn't dry nearly as fast as the chalk paint that's one I love chalk paint it covers real well it covers so well and it dries faster All right, I think just one little spot that didn't get totally dry, so it keeps just moving the paint around. And as soon as we're done with this, we'll put the black in and go on to the next. Fun little. Now we will get the black out. And I just barely used it, so I don't need to uh, just got paint all over me. Where's my wipes? Just had them right here. It's right here. Where are they? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I stuck my um, molds over them. The next YouTube video, we're going to put these um, super cute molds. I have the sunflower and then this really cute, um, it's got a lot of pine cones and pine brows and that. And then this is just of leaves. And then this one has some uh, Band, or straight bands that we could put around it. We're going to do them on a pumpkin. I'm going to do them up tomorrow. I'm so excited. All right, let me peek back there at what I did. Kind of get them looking the same. So we're just going to do kind of a little oval right there. Holy cow, my painting skills tonight are not worth a darn. Come on. I don't know if it's this brush or my eyes or what. Let's see. I am going to trade brushes. doing worth a darn. Let's see. Let try this other brush. And there we go. 
don't know what was with that first brush, but the second brush. There. Just a little bit lighter. Okay. Dry these. Just using the tip of my brush to do a dot and then another a big oval. Oh, sorry. There we go. Just need to get some paint on the dang end of the brush. And a dot. Oh, come on. Where's the paint? There's his little eyes. I'm going to start practicing on how to paint eyes because I look at all these beautiful eyes people paint and I'm like so jealous. So I have got to start practicing so I can get as good as they are. Ah, what color are you using? I just messed up that eye, but we can fix it. I just got to put some paint out on the thing. Black's dry. One more time and then we're done. And I've painted the little shoes already and their little hands or mittens or whatever. Painted them up. And we'll put the little eye, eye lids and nose on him. And then his cute little hair. I love his hair. I love how it it's crazy. Little hairdo. Okay. Isn't he cute? A little Frankie. He's so cute. I love him. Okay. Now for the hair. Where did I put the hair? Here's the hair. Whoops. Just the, a black fur. And this is really super nice fur. Um, I get it from our little sewing shop right here in town. But man, it is just the softest and fluffiest fur. Okay, so we need about, I just take it around and to the sides. So that's all the, um, all the, all you need. What am I trying to say? My 
My words are not coming out. Well, when you cut um, any kind of faux fur or minky, if it's the long minky, always cut it from the back side and just cut it, cut the little fabric that the hair is on. Don't just cut like that. Cut right underneath it and just barely snip just the little fabric that it's on. Usually it'll just, you can just tear it basically. It's just a thin little piece of fabric, but look, there's no um, big gobs of, of the fur flying around like usually it is. And on him, really can't see it, but I cut little V's in his little thing. So I wanna do that to this one. Um, let's get it going the right way. So he is this way. So the, the points will be going down. So we'll just cut little, little triangle shapes out. Of his hair. How that just cut in those little triangles. The cutness little scissors they are amazing. They're those Guggenheimer scissors, but they're just the little ones. And I love them. So we're going to just put it like this. This right here kind of doesn't get seen. On the other one, it doesn't get seen either. So, oh well. That's okay. He's got another scar on his little cheek. So I guess that's good enough. And I'm just going up and down these little spikes in his hair. I'm just going to plop it down like that. And then all we do is tur turn it over. And then we'll just kind of glue it on the sides. It's pretty, pretty dang easy. We're going to give him kind of a mullet that's going to go long. That's kind of cute. He'll be, he'll have a long mullet in the back. It'll be party in the front and our business in the front, party in the back, huh? That's what we'll do. He's almost cute enough to be a girl. Cute. Little face on him. Just kind of pin it down on the sides. <laughs> Got crazy hair. I kind of made the other one have a little pokey up right here and then he kind of went over to the side. So. Isn't that cute? I think he's so dang cute. Okay. Let's go a little bit more right here. Oh, we've got something there. Okay. This almost could be his girlfriend, huh? She kind of looks like a little girl. It's cute. Okay, now what we need to do, oh, we got one of the hairs. Now on him, 
you're gonna make the little arms out. And what I do is I use this, just a, this is, um, what's it called? A mechanics wire or tie wire. And I just take a good amount of it and I double it up and make his arms go across. And then that, this is what we hook our, his little hands to. So I want his arms a little bit longer. There we go. Okay. Cut it off. Sorry, I have a piece of the fur flying around on my nose. And then we'll bend that over. Okay. Then I just take and twist these up. So it's just a wire like this, and we're going to take it from the back, pull his little hair up, and get it right here. Okay, and then I just take my staple gun and just staple his little arms on, because that's... What this is, is his little arms. Oh, I need to get one of those power staple guns. I use them a lot in the, well, I do it in my Christmas stuff. And about Kills my hands. Okay, so there's his little arms. They don't look like much now, but they will. They will look cute. Okay, and the next thing is we will put his little um, bottom on, kind of. I put this in the front so he doesn't fall forward. And it kind of gives him a little bit of stability. So what I want to do, put some tight bond. This is really good thick glue. It's tight bond. I'll put some of it right here. And then I want to put some hot glue so we could get a good hold right now so that we can finish his little body up. So I'm just gonna let that set. And hopefully I didn't put too much tight bond down that the hot glue will work. Okay. Now we'll make his little um, pants or his little legs and these are the little pants I have for him so we kind of go off of what and this is a cute little shirt I'm gonna put on him little flannel I think that's so cute how long we want his little legs so we'll measure from the crotch down and double it and then we'll double it again for both sides and then I need to add a little bit to go through here and if it's too long then we'll um, I can fold it over and cut it off and so it's not really let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so I wanted it doubled and then I have to put it Okay, we want it in half, so I have to put it across here and then down for his little legs. So you have to measure his legs four times and then across here twice to get your measurement. And I usually use 2T clothes 
So um, two toddler is what I've been using. And they, I think that's a really cute size. So we wanna put his little legs going out. And so I'll just um, tack it right here. Sorry, I wasn't showing you guys. We'll just tack this wire. In there really good. My tacking skills are not that great because I always have to pound them in afterwards. Okay. Ugh. That's where all the dirt's coming from, but there's dirt. Okay, so we've got his cute little legs. Don't look like much. And his cute little arms. And now we want to dress him, I think. Yeah. We'll dress him and then we'll put the feet and the hands on. And then we're pretty much done. And he's just the cutest dang thing in the world. I love him. Pull his little pants up. Look at his cute little bum. Pull his little pants up like that. And we'll put his little shirt on. See, and then his little legs are right here. And we'll put his little feet on. Just a second. Get his little shirt. Dressing a little toddler, all limp ragged and falling all over the place when you're trying to dress one. That's what he feels like. Oh, they're trying to escape from you. Okay. Little shirt buttoned up. I love that little turtleneck on him. I think that's so cute. I think this will be a cute shirt too. Okay, we'll tuck his little shirt in. And we'll just put a little tack right down here to keep it tucked in. And in the back, we'll do the same thing. I'll give it a little bit of movement so it'll, and then I pull him up and then I tack his little pants down. So, there he is. Move his little legs around. You could stuff him, put him, put a little bit of poly fluff in him. I don't know if I have anything right here, but that would be kind of cute, putting a little poly fluff. But right here, I'm seeing the wood. So what I thought would be kind of cute is if we put a little hair right there. <laughs> oh, that might be kind of cute with these little pieces that we cut off. We'll try that. He'll be a little hairy chest. Frankie. Tuck his hair down in so it's not poking out, but yeah, that'll look better than the wood because the collar's not going to go all the way. Well, it might, Ugh, maybe, but really cool. But then he'll look like a little prim and proper guy. Okay, so there's his little hairy chest a little bit. Pull his little hair over there. 
Oh, we gotta pull his hair out of the back because remember we've got a mullet going on back here. Kind of a little Frankenstein mullet. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? All right. Okay. Now we will put their little hands on. And what I do, I kind of squish that and then bend it over so it looks like that. And then the hands, when you put them on, make sure the thumbs are up. So like when you're looking at yourself and you're like going to hold something like this, it's always with the, hand, the thumbs up. You're not holding it like this with the thumbs down. So remember when you're doing putting hands on something, it's thumbs up. People have the hardest time with that sometimes. And I tell them, I said, just look at your own hands. Look how they're, what they're, if they're going up or down. Get the little. So he's got his little hand on. And then we'll button his little shirt and then we'll tack it down. Over the hand. Get the shirt going the right way. There's his cute little hand. And he could be holding something. And put his other little hand on. Sorry for the noise. Probably doesn't feel too good on your your guys' ears. I hope you guys like what you're seeing. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. We do fun things. There's his two hands, like that. Now we'll put his little feet on. And these are just one inch boards that I've just cut into the shape. And I just tack it right back here, but then I um, Put it on let me put one on and then I'll show you It'll be hard to try to show you and put it on okay. so this is the top of the foot and it's just right here and I've just tacked it in so we'll just pull it out like that and then I tack the shoe to the back of the pants and then on the side just like I did the um, hands. And then it goes over that. Piece of the wire that we had there. little foot 
over here is these little pants, this little foot. Tack it down again, just like we did the other. job. Little pants. I've got a scarecrow in the works too that we're going to do. He's uh, pretty much just like this but just a little bit different and I'm going to do that with you guys too because we've got to put the straw on and make the hat and all that so I want to do that one with you guys. Well there's his cute little feet. He's done. He's done. He just needs a little hairspray in his hair. But look how cute. He's got his little things. I don't have a better pumpkin. I have them out in my garage, but just he could hold a pumpkin like this. Isn't that the cutest? Cutest little thing. I love him. Oh, he's got a little white on his nose. I got a Touch his nose up, but he is so stinking cute. I love him. Love, love, love. And I hope you guys do too. And how I, I cut it out is that I just basically just notched it in and then just rounded up here on his little face. And that's the only cut um, I made is just this little, see his little, shoulders i wish i would have maybe i could still show you but it's not a hard cut so basically his little shoulders have just the little slope and then the slope for his or this curve for his face and that's all the only cut i made and i did it with a um, jigsaw so it's an easy easy cut and it's just a two by eight I believe it's an eight. Let me get my little thing up here. Yep, it's a two by eight. That's what I used. You can use a, a one by eight, but I like the chunkiness of it. So, but I just love him. I think he's so dang cute. Kind of a little wild guy. But I think he's just cute with his little pumpkin holding it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will try it. Um, if you do, email me a picture because I would love to see it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.